Good morning, welcome from West Midlands Safari Park, where we're going to be having a, a four mile ride around some animals. Oh. You excited? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have a, 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 not a wander, we're going to have a drive around uh, the animal enclosures and then there's a little bit of a, an amusement park as well, where with some rides. There, there is a ghost train there, Casper. Yeah! Eden. Uh, I can go there. I can't remember what it's called, the Dr. Umbongo. I um, can go um, the ghost uh, train. The, yeah. Um, <laughs> We'll, we'll try and take you on. It, it, it's it's an unusual one. Um, it's not we, it's not quite on the level of case, um, but yeah, we'll take you on for that. There's, there's a there's a drop tower and there's also a, a kids roller coaster, a rhino coaster that you can go on as well, Eden. Yeah, I can. I have to go that first. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. Maybe we'll head over to there. And there's also a wild, a wild mouse to go on as well. So uh, we're just waiting for it to open now. I just want to say thank you very much to West Midland Safari for providing us with tickets today. It's really, really appreciated and responds for the rides. So, uh, yeah, we'll just wait for it to open. And when it does, uh, we'll show you what's in there at West Midland Safari Park. So there we go. We're entering the safari drive for West Midland Safari Park. So the first part we're on to is the African Plains. No feeding the giraffes, that's a bit of a shame because oh, we used to be able to feed them. You used to be able to. Yeah, you used to have the heads dangling in the windows and uh, have them uh, feeding off your hands. <laughs> oh, there's some zebras oh, over there. We've got some there? zebras over there, that's the first thing we see. And that looks new as well, that building over there since last time we came. It looks like we've got a little bit of These are the, they're the lodges, here. aren't they? Oh, so they're the lodges. They're quite expensive, those, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. 900 pounds a night. 900 pounds, so there we go. Beautiful view. Right over at the rhinos there. You can just make out there. You <laughs> see, Eden's excited at seeing the rhinos. So you can see there's some kind of, I'm not sure if it's antelope or gazelle. Uh, he's coming along, and we're going to give him, what you can do is you can feed these guys, and here they are. He's a nice fella. There we go. A little bit of food. And he's gone on his way. So we'll go down and feed some more of these. Here he is. Oh, <laughs> took a chunk out of my hand. Took a chunk out of your fingers. No, no, look, this guy is sticking his head right into the, uh, the car. Much. That doesn't seem like a great idea, does it? Oh, you want some? Yeah. Do you want some? No. No? Okay. So here we go. I'm scared now. I hear it. There he is. Oh, God. There he is. So as we go further down the drive here, you can see, I think that's some, I think it's a bongo, I think they're called, if I remember rightly. There he is, he's wanting a bit of food. Um, you know, we've got a bit of drama there, is the, the one that's sticking his, his head in. I said to stop filming. He was sticking the head in and we couldn't get him out. He was trying to rip all the... Uh, um, he was trying to rip the box open. Trying to rip the box open for Robin, so we had to like quickly drive on. <laughs> oh dear, such fun. Uh, so we come down here, so the giraffe, not the giraffes, what man about, the bloody zebras. We've got the zebras down here. Hello, zebras. Here we go, it's the horses in pyjamas. So there is the zebra. Gravy zebra, I think they're actually called, aren't they? Uh, Why are they called the gravy zebra? That's just the name. Gravy. Impressive looking creatures, they really are. So uh, yeah, we're going to move on round now to uh, the next enclosure. Oh, so we've got a baby rhino that's down there. I'm not sure if you can just make that out down there. Can you feed rhinos? No. He's just there. Uh, you definitely can't feed them. He's hiding behind his mum there. Can, there he is. Just make him out, little baby rhino. I'll just zoom in so you can see him. That's really cute, little baby rhino there. And uh, yeah, that's really good to see, to get up close to these guys. And uh, there's also uh, some other types of uh, antelopes there as well. That's really cute. We'll, we'll, oh, he's having a little bit of a play down there. It's all right, I said she could just go. I'm guessing that that's mum and dad there that's um, that little rhino. I'm not sure. There's also different types of uh, kind of cattle oh, and yeah. all sorts of stuff. And oh, that's it. he's got a big horn. That one. That's mummy one. See on the on, just on my left hand side, there's a, a number of different vans. I'm guessing they're all keeping an eye on the little baby there, making sure that it's doing all right because it doesn't look so old. So those lodges look really incredible. Uh, I'm guessing are they some are they an apartment style? Um, yeah, they're like, yeah, they're All like right. really big um, like suites, aren't they? I think. They look impressive. I mean, for, for 900 pounds a night, they really should be, but um, they look good. They have the kind of animal. They're kingdom. very like they're very luxury, aren't they? Inside them, I think. And, uh, it's um, nice. But, and you, you can have like, like they've got their giraffe one there. Look. Ah, right, yeah. 
dozens of different animals that you can be facing. It's quite interesting to see how you actually get to them, because it appears you've got to actually come through the, the drive to get there. Oh, so it looks like the giraffes have got their own enclosure now. They used to be free roaming, and uh, they used to just come into the car and stick your head in the I car, think, didn't I they? I think they still do that. It just might, it just might not be out yet. All oh, right. All right, Eden. Right. Eden's having a good time. <laughs> So here you can see some deer. You Hello, see loads dear. of these where we used to live. Hello, dears. <laughs> Very dear. elusive creatures, Hello, aren't they? Because they're massive. Dears. <laughs> Do you like them, Eden? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so we're heading down to carnivore country down here and uh, we've just gone past the bypass so if you've got a soft top vehicle you are not allowed surprisingly uh, in the carnivore area so um no. it's like it's a bit of a queue to get it does like it's a bit of a queue because they sort of like air lock you in they do yeah <laughs> they do keep doors and windows locked stay in your vehicle at all times and sound your horn for assistance i've got to wind the windows up on this bit now guys yeah it might might be wise to uh Oh, it's land, of the as well. land of the painted dog. There you go. Do you want a painted dog? No. So here's the little airlock that we go into. So we drive into this little section here, stop by this uh, gate with the red light on. It fills up. The gate. There's a gate behind us which closes to prevent any uh, of the creatures that were in the last one, which was the African painted dog, I think it was. Uh, and then the gates will open here and we'll go into the next area, which is, I believe, the lions, which are in this bit. So hopefully we'll see something. We didn't see the painted dog in there, so they must still be in bed. No. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because it's five to ten now, so they might still be in bed, might they? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you can see up there, there's a big lookout tower that's got one of the workers in, where they'll be able to see all the animals and make sure that everybody's all right and make sure that nobody's getting eaten by the lions. <laughs> Dad, it's actually African wild dogs. I'm sleeping. <laughs> so this gate's opening now, so we'll be able to go into the next section and uh, wait for the green light, of course, don't we? It's like the green man. Yeah, I like that, like the green man. Like the green yeah. man, yeah. Keep clear of electric gates. Good. So there we can see the lions are out. Here they are, they're coming across to say hello. Lion. Oh, hello. So make I have, sure. I haven't got no hair. So they're girl lions, those ones. Yeah. So they don't have the big mane. There's so, a baby one as well. There's a baby one? Yeah. A little one. Oh, it's not a baby. Well, it's younger. Yeah. Looks like Nala, doesn't it? Yeah, Nala. Yeah. Whoa. So that's looking for somewhere comfortable to go and have a sit down somewhere. Have a nice lie down. So that was nice that we got to see them wandering around anyway. Because you don't often see them active. They're normally just laying down somewhere, aren't they? Being a bit boring. Yeah. Look at that rock. Looks like a lion. Oh, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Pride rock. <laughs> Stamping the gorge. Simba's down there. What? That work? That work? It's like Scar. Scar. <laughs> scar. 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 Oh, here comes the other one as well. Oh, that one's cute, that one over there. Uh, that one's not coming. That, this one is. They're like dogs. They're like dogs. They are dogs. Cats. Cats. No. That's a nice little waterfall that they've got put in there. Beautiful. Lovely bit of theming that the, the white lions have got here. Because the white lions are just up here, which is why all the vehicles have stopped. And it uh, looks like these ones are a lot more lethargic, yeah. being a lot more like. Do you want to call lions? Because they're just lying around. They're lying around all the time. <laughs> So 
See, these ones are actually behind. I think it's an electric fence, that, actually. Uh, so they, they must be a bit more yeah. aggressive, maybe, because um, they're not actually free roaming onto the road. There's quite a few of them. Do you know why they look nice, Casper? Lions? Because they take pride in their appearance. Mm. What have you got there, Casper? The map. The map. So you get a lovely safari map, don't you? Oh, leads and <laughs> it popped up there. Uh, and then on the other side, we've got a park map for the rest of you. Yeah. yeah. So, Casper, where are we up to now? Are we about halfway? Yeah. We're up to the painted dogs. So we've done all the orange bit on the map. Yeah. And what are we doing next? What have yeah. we got left to see? Dolls. Yeah? Yeah. Dolls. And then the Dolls. rhino, tiger, the camel and the elephants. Okay, okay. okay. Why did you get my mum just... Oh, they're down there, look! Uh, uh, Here he comes! Open. There he comes! Fox! Stop! He does look like a fox, doesn't he? Hello! Hello! <laughs> we do have a rhino, rhino coaster here. Rhino! Which he isn't excited about. Rhino wide and rhino! Rhino! And rhino and rhino ride. So he's like tag, basically. So you yeah. can see, haven't they got a really well themed little place where they live? Looks a great. Rhino and a rhino ride. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll get further up. We're gonna go up the hill. What <coughs> way? Oh, a little deer. Oh. There's no big one. <laughs> See, a <time laughs> some dinner. Do you want to do some eating? Yeah. Can you take a there picture? We go. So there's another deer. There's a tiger just up there. He's just got his head down there through the uh, fence. And uh, yeah, so we're in the Asian lowlands now. And there's another white tiger just down here. Uh, I'll just pull forward and try and get a better view of him. So there we can see one of the white tigers. Siegfried and Roy would be proud of that one. Um, yeah, he's. Uh, He's looking, he's panting a bit there. I'm not sure if he's ready for his lunch or whatever, but it's he's nice to see him there. They've got a big, massive enclosure as well, a lot, a lot of area. Because, of course, in the wild, they do a lot of roaming around. I love you. But yes, that's the white tiger that there is there. So, we've got some more zebras here as we're coming past them. And we're approaching, what have we got up here, did we say? Casper. What? What have we got up here? Camels. Oh, we've got some grumpy camels, so uh, we're and we're not allowed to feed them. Do not feed. Yeah, I can already see a sign. Do not feed. Grumpy <laughs> camels will be spitting in the car and all sorts. So yeah, let's try and find these camels. So we've discovered where the camels are. The grumpy camels all having a bit of a lie down there with the big humps on the back carrying all the water. Uh, weird creatures they are. What do you think about the camel camels, Casper? There's four of them. There is four of them, that's right, there's another one just over there as well. So that's the camels, we'll head down, down to see what else we can find further down here. So we've made our way over to where the elephants are now, and uh, as you can see there, there's uh, Nelly over there, who's uh, having their dinner, tucking into some stuff there. Where? And um, yeah, where? it looks quite dark, that elephant, doesn't he? Yeah. Or she, I'm not sure. Um, big tusks, as they're tucking in. Oh, there's only one of them there, I'm not sure if there's, they've got some friends and family knocking about, but yeah, it's the only one we can see there. Huge, huge creatures. So what do you think about the uh, animals eating? Good. They're, They're really good. Nice, Casper? These animals. They're nice. Yeah. Elephants are good, aren't they? They're really nice, yeah. Yeah. So we made our way down to the way the giraffes are now. So you can see those lodges in the background. So they're the ones that are approximately nine hundred pounds a night. So very expensive, but you do in. they are fighting. But you do get these giraffes right outside your house, um, or outside your room, should I say? And um, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's a. Uh, they, they, they look really high end inside with the pictures I've seen, and uh, you do get so there's six giraffes there. Look at me. And there's, there's one on the other side of the road as well. But you used to be able to feed these. Look at me. Head in there, Eden wants me to look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's having a good time. She's looking at all the giraffes, and you can see there's one that's coming across now. And um, look at me. Maybe they'll come and say hello. No, they're not. Don't, don't say that. Don't see that. Look at this one, Eden. So we've got a traffic jam here. We've got this giraffe that's stuck in the middle of the road, holding, holding the job up. And uh, you can see it's making out down there. You see the people that are staying in the lodges, just there. So there's coming out and having a look at all the uh, the giraffes as they've just woken up before they come into the uh, the safari park, which is quite nice. Uh, it's a lovely thing to be able to wake up to and have a view over all these uh, uh, giraffes that are here, because the incredible creatures and the ones that. Uh, I suppose they're your kindred spirit, really, aren't they? <laughs> they love a giraffe. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're great, aren't they? You can just, you can just watch them for ages because they're so tall. They're absolutely massive. They really, really are. So we've centred the uh, main entry area here for uh, Safari Park, so we could do the walk around part. And they've got lots of uh, nice eateries here. So there's Amigos Mexican food. We love a bit of Mexican. And there's some Safari Delights. That used to be a, uh, a wrap place that sold all the ice cream um, on bubble waffles, but not anymore. So it's a Safari Delights now. And uh, there's the, the luxury shop that's there as well, selling all merchandise. So first thing we noticed is that it's really nicely pre presented as you come in. Lovely bits of theming, and uh, generally it looks really clean and uh, uh, well turned out as, uh, as far as the zoo goes. First thing we come to is the penguin coves. The penguins are down here, so let's go and have a look at the penguins. You can see them down here. Do you like the penguins, Casper? Yeah! So uh, here they are, the penguin cove. And they've got loads of Eden's gone to have a look at them. There she is, the penguins. Hello. They have a lovely little themed area. Looks really, really good and well, well looked after. And a nice, decent size to them as well. So a little area around the back as well so they can get away uh, if they're getting bothered by all the people. One of the nice things as well is there's a little bit of a, a screen here which tells you all sorts of interesting facts about the penguins and where they're from and the habitat and what their diet is and uh, what their uh, place in the environment actually is, which is really cool and nice to see as well. So next up is the uh, bat preview area. So we go in through here, so let's go and have a look around. I'm not sure if it's a free range view one or whether you just look at behind glass, but let's go and check out the bats. So that that is behind the glass. I think you can actually walk around that other side there. We can't really see too much behind there because it is it is dark. But uh, this is the preview area. So there are screens up there, so you can have a look at what's going on with the uh, bats in there. Can't see too much on there, but uh, we'll go and have a look around. I think it's around the other side, isn't it? Where they are. So uh, yeah, we'll try and find out where it is and hopefully be able to have a wander around the uh, bat enclosure. So you see the kids there saying hello to the penguins down here, and it's nice that they've come to. Uh, uh, enjoy this as well so it looks like they like enjoying the interaction with the kids and um, yeah it's quite good to see so it's a really big enclosure because you can see uh, as Eden's speaking to uh, the penguin there it goes all the way up the top there goes all the way around that side and into that water enclosure and there's a big bit around the other side as well which is good to see so we're heading up to the discovery zone you can see some leftover stuff from the uh, Easter event that they've had and it looks really really nice looks like a lovely event that they've had and really well presented and it's nice to see I mean I'm glad that it's still here because it's lovely seeing stuff like this and they've made a good effort for it as well so we're heading up towards uh, the discovery zone now and uh, gonna have a look through there and there's some creepy crawlies as well so let's go check them out so we're in the bat cave now so there's gonna be all bats flying around so you can see up there there might be young ones that fly past our heads we can't really see anything at the moment what usually happens with these is uh, you don't see anything and all of a sudden something whistles, whistles past your ear. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice that you can wander around in here and uh, experience it. It does have a weird smell about it, doesn't it? It's like and, uh, yeah, it smells like black hole. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a strange smell. So that's where we were. So that's, that's the glass that we've wandered around before. And we couldn't really see a great deal in there earlier on. Um, yeah, uh, they must all still be asleep at the moment because I can't really see where they are. Um, normally, uh, they're all whizzing past your head, aren't they, when they're in here? And, Oh, did they all just fly down there, did they? They just all two fly down that way. Right, okay. It's the sort of place where you can get a bit flecky wandering around here if you're not a fan of uh, seeing like bats and uh, having stuff whiz past you. Yeah, I mean, I can't really see any of them. Normally you see them all dangling down or whatever, but... What's the... Ah. What's that? One just uh, flew past my head then. <laughs> That's the thing, they're so quick as well, they're quite difficult to get on camera unless they 
they're right in front of you. Um, I've got a nice little photo point here in front of the Seaquarium sign and the, uh, the giant elephants of Casper's having his picture taken there and it looks uh, really really nice it's good really well presented here and it's very very clean uh, some more of those eggs there that they've had left over from Easter and some more facts about the penguins there which is good to see Eden's looking all grumpy as we're going to make our ways down to uh, uh, some more stuff there's a goblet toss down there maybe we'll win on that so everything here is really, really well presented and nicely themed as well, isn't it, Casper? Yes, Let's just look down here, you're coming into uh, uh, another one. That's a, that's a, an exit for the fish. Is uh, yeah, I've got love, some lovely koi carp in here as well, which is uh, look all nicely looked after. A little bit of a waterfall as well, and it's all really well, well presented, which is nice to see. So it comes to the aquarium now, so we're gonna have a look what they've got in here. Robin's having a look at the Amazon section, which has got piranhas in there. Is there a big one? Oh, there he is. He's just behind there, just making his tail out. He's doing a little bit of hiding, he's just coming round. And there he is, massive big piranha. Let's take a big chunk out here. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to have a wander around now. Uh, the rest of the aquarium it says Lake Malawi, which is there. And there's the British Seas, which is lovely. It's all split into different sections. So this section is related to night hunters. And just down there, there is a moray eel, as you can just see. Uh, which makes me think of Flotsam and Jetsam. There he is. Moray eel. So in here is a millipede. We've worked our way around to the creepy crawly section. I mean, there is a pet. That's what he eats. The millipede eats the pet, and I can't find him in there. I mean, trying to find him. He's like trying to find a millipede in a. That's yeah, difficult. But yeah, uh, we'll have a look around see if there's some more. There's some more creepy crawlies down here. So what's in this one here? Oh, we've got tarantula. A curly hair tarantula. How oh, is he? He's in there somewhere, we can't, it is very, very dark, but uh, yes, yeah, so there's a tarantula in there. And there's some giant garner snails here, and, uh, absolutely massive. What's it quite like me, Eden? Do you like him? You like snails, don't you, Casper? Yeah, giant. Snails. Garner snails, they are. Giant garner snails. There we go, because they come from Ghana, which is, of course, in uh, Africa. What's that? I like it. Um, it's a bit of a leaf or something, isn't it? It's something that they're eating, isn't it? Munching away on. So Eden's getting all flecky now as we're looking at the fruit beetles here. The fruit beetles. We have fruit flies in this country, and in Africa they have the fruit beetles. So there we go. They're quite big. They look very much like a cockroach in many ways. Speaking of cockroaches, there's lots of them down here, which is the hissing cockroach. Call that, of course, because they uh, make a hissing noise. They're hissing cockroaches, those cats go. Because they make a hissing noise. Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Exactly, yes, lots of weird cr creatures that come from Madagascar. Cockroaches. As we look around this side, I'm not sure what's in here. We've not got to the, uh, the sign that tells us yet, but we'll have a look in a minute. Can we get around that side? So, where it just came from, they've got the leaf cutter ants in there. Uh, so, no fun trying to find them. And of course, stick insects that are in here. Again. Good luck trying to find them. There's just lots of sticks in there. Oh, you found him? Oh, there he is. There he is. Again, more of the uh, Easter decorations that are still uh, left up, and they look really, really good. All these little eggs that are dangling off the trees here. Looks so nicely presented in the, the nice little uh, uh, scene that's set up just on the other side of the white barrier as well. And it's lovely to see how well presented it actually is, and looks really looks the part fit for Easter. So just settle down for some snacks now, and these these two have got some ice cream. So for one scoop of Kelly's ice cream, you've got Oreo. Yeah. And Eden, what flavour have you got? Strawberry. Strawberry. So for one scoop each, that came to a total of seven pounds for the uh, the uh, pair of them for a little bit of a snack there. Yeah, the ones across the way, like. Lippo yeah. Was also three pounds. Yeah, it seems to be going right, doesn't it? Although one thing that I did that did take my attention was the just up there. You can just see they actually have a Reese's hot chocolate up there. So I, I, was, I was almost tempted to get one of them Reese's. Why don't you go get one? Well, I might get one later on. But um, yeah, is it good? Yeah, it's really yeah. nice. Yours is good. Yeah. Right. You like the Queen, so we'll not film you eating, and uh, we'll see what it's like when you're finished.
Okay, so they're refreshed from their ice creams. They've, they've got a full belt, say full wellies. Uh, they're fully refreshed. And now we're going to go and check out the Ice Age area. It's up here. Uh, it's kind of an interactive area full of all sorts of dinosaurs. And it's really good and well themed. So uh, we'll get over this bridge and I'll show you what there is on the other side. This is a genuine fossil there. An obsidian volca volcanic rock. So how about that? And that's what you can find worldwide there, which is a really, really interesting bit of volcanic rock. And the reason why that's there is because we're going to go and check out this volcano that's just behind Robin there. So let's go and check out this volcano. We're entering it now. A bit of a warning there. Hot surfaces because we're entering the volcano. It's making all sorts of noises as we go through. It's all lit up. And there is a uh, glass floor as well. It's just quite cool. It's all red. See, it's glowing with the lava. It's underneath. That's really, really cool. There they are. What's it about? Magma. Like a scene. So there we go. It's a prehistoric Thank pelican you. up there. Oh, Mom. And there's a little bit of uh, stuff telling you all about volcanoes there in the fertile landscapes that have been shaped by the volcanoes themselves, which is quite interesting. So we have some more prehistoric creatures here. You can see they look quite good. I mean, that one's not actually moving now. I'm pretty sure that did used to move. Like the one that looks a little bit like a rhino. And that one's still got its mouth open. It looks quite good. Decent animatronic, to be fair. It's quite a good size as well. What is it? Uh, and it's a prehistoric creature. Hopefully there's a sign behind. Uh, I think it is a Parasaurethium, is what it is. Uh, or is that that one there, actually? I'm not sure what that one actually is. Uh, I think there was a sign around the other side, but we just missed it. But um, the massive creatures, nonetheless, and you can see there's a, a flamingo down there, which is just for scale as well. So uh, let's go and check out. There's loads of these around this uh, little walkway, which is really, really interesting to see. So uh, we'll go check out some more. There's all sorts of unpronounceable creatures here. So that is uh, looks a bit like a, a dodo, really, but it's one of them. Can't pronounce it, but that's what it is. So uh, and there's some more creatures here. That's an Enceladont and a play. Boy Bunny Adon, or whatever it's called. And uh, we walk around here. This is just a nice little walk around, really. As you come around here, you can see they're just uh, making their way up the track there. And uh, there's just all sorts of uh, little dioramas that are set up and animatronics, which is really cool. And replicas and uh, um, actual fossils as well. So look at the size of that. That's a megatherium. Like a giant bear, really. What says giant beast? This looks quite like a bear, really. Absolutely huge. Uh, tuck it into the tree. We head down here, we're heading into Northern Europe now and the inhabitants that was there during the Ice Age. So the Holocene, which is 10,000 years ago. So uh, we'll uh, check this out, so the cave bear. So that is a cave bear and that is equivalent to, um, in size, I'd say it's equivalent, to com there for comparison in size, to what you can see there, it's like a giant woolly mammoth. Absolutely huge and also an, an elasmotherium which is the weird little horned creature there. Interesting beast, bright orange in colour. That is that. Why has he got a giant horse? What's that? Things sticking out of He has got a huge horn, hasn't he? I mean, it is strange to think that these creatures have uh, completely gone uh, now, or evolved into different types of creatures that we see today. But, like that um, woolly mammoth there, a lot bigger than an elephant, as you can tell. Uh, and of course, full of wool and fur to keep warm. And there's the other side of the volcano there as well, looking really, really good. It really is a good immersive experience to walk through all these huge, uh, some of them animatronics, some of them just uh, recreations. But that one, you can see the ears are moving up there, eyes closing, and it's just, it's just good to see. And it's really, really good effort as well. Uh, so many of them as well, and it's just, just really is quite immersive generally as we go back into the volcano now to see what there is and you can see there's some tusks there to replicate the size of the mammoth tusks that were there and there's little uh, little caves there for be able to, to be able to wander around as well you go in and tell me what's in there then dude eden's going in as well so what was in there Oh, it's just blue lights. All oh, right, so it's to show you how cold it was. So we've been through the volcano, which was really hot. We're on the other side now, and so we're heading in towards the ice age, where it's really cold. You can see the ice around this cave here as we head through. So we're coming to Lorikeet Landing now. So this is the area where you have all the birds fly around your head. You can see one of them stuck there, just flew past us. 
And uh, they're, they're really noisy. Noisy, aren't they? <laughs> Come right, Rocky. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we did a uh, the feeding experience at what Mundo Mar, didn't we, at Benidorm? Which was really, really good. And uh, you can see there's sticking their heads off because they want to be fed, don't they? Make our way around to the rest of the, uh, the lorikeet landing. So they're all swimming, uh, swimming, not flying around as they uh, enjoy themselves in here. Yeah, this is good to see. So making our way around the rest of this lorikeet landing, you can see the little uh, boxes where they live up there, and there's one sat on the uh, little um, bar up there, keeping himself comfy and away from everyone. And it is uh, everything's nicely presented, and looks like they've got a nice little place for them to to live in here, and of course keep dry because there's a roof on it as well. And you can do a feeding experience in there. Do you know how much it is? No, you can just buy the little nectar on the way. Ah, way. right. I think it's just a few Oh, right. Oh, they'd, they'd sold out of all the nectar, so we couldn't do a feeding experience with them, which is a bit of a shame. So entering the land of living dinosaurs now, which is uh, almost like a bit of an extension around from where the Ice Age um, area was. So you can walk around here and see some more of these huge prehistoric creatures. You can see a giant mouth there uh, of uh, some... I want to go in here. Sure, go, go and stick your head through it then. Hello. Hello. And there's Casper, he's been eaten by that massive dinosaur there. And uh, yeah, so there's a stegosaurus there. It's not stegosaurus, is it? I'm not sure what that creature is. We'll find out when we get to it either. But we're going to once wander up around this some of the walk around, similar to the Ice Age one, and uh, it's just absolutely full of dinosaurs and roars and uh, all sorts of other creatures that are in here. So let's go and check them all out. So we're walking through the street, greeted by that uh, Dimetro Dimetrodon. 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 Is that what we're going with? Yeah. We'll have that. Okay. Um, I was about to say that. And then uh, there's, there's all sorts of, uh, uh, so we're in the Triassic period here um, as we're work, walking our way around. And uh, yeah, it is really, really nice walk around. We did one similar to this in Wales a few years ago. And uh, it, I think this is actually better and all part of the, uh, no upcharge of course, this is all just part of it. Once you come in, there is a number of different ticketed options for this, uh, but this is included with your, your standard admission into uh, West Midland Safari Park, which is, which is good to see. And there's a, another one of the uh, creatures. It looks like a raptor, that. But um, again, I'm not even going to guess what it is. We'll find out. Uh, so the, steg the Stegosaurus, which is up here, and you can see that by all the spines that are down his back, which is there, the Stegosaurus. So this is where we're getting to where all the bigger dinosaurs are here. And it's some good photo opportunities as well, which is uh, always nice to see. It is nice how they set up little uh, scenes for all of these uh, dinosaurs. That one's climbing the tree there. Looks really cool. And uh, of course, around this side, you've got the, this massive creature. I'm not sure if it's a Brontosaurus or whatever, and the Stegosaurus in the background. That one looks like he's uh, about to eat it as well. And it's just really, really cool. And of course, they've got the eggs uh, from the Easter as well, all set up. Now, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, that one there, but there we go. And the Dilophosaurus there. There were the Dilophosaurus were the ones that spit. Um, Venom at you, I think, if I remember rightly. And there it goes. Oh, there's, so they're absolutely huge as well, and they look really relatively main, well maintained as well, which is really good and nice to see as well. And uh, these pathways are good as well in terms of uh, pushing the pram round, it's not uh, causing any issues at all, which is good to see. And we'll work our way around the rest of this area. So now into the Cretaceous period now. So it's a proper trip through time and uh, the prehistoric era. So we worked our way through the Triassic to the Cretaceous now, and I'm sure we'll end up with the, in the Jurassic era. And you can see all these incredible creatures here. These don't seem like they should have been real. And, uh, and I've just seen down there, there was a genuine fossil there of an oviraptor. Eggs. eggs. Oviraptor eggs. So One of the great things about here is the loads of photo opportunities that you've got. So you've got this one here, it's like a recreation from Jurassic Park there with the toilet. So you've got your picture taken so you can look like the lawyer that was, uh, of course, eaten by the T-Rex in Jurassic Park. It's really cool, isn't it? <laughs> it is funny. Uh, it's good. So there is loads and loads of photo opportunities knocking around as well. And you can see all around here, there's just so many dinosaurs, it's not just one or two. They've really gone to a good effort. And of course the audio around here is really good and really immersive. And then just look at the size of that dinosaur. That, is that a Brontosaurus? No, that's an Argentinosaurus there. So um, yeah, that's absolutely huge. You can see the tail just goes all the way on and on and on. 
as we walk around here. And it's just absolutely massive. And you've got the flying ones there. So you've got uh, uh, pterodactyls or pterodons, maybe. And the little duck there just nesting on his uh, tail, the Argentinosaurus. We're going to head around this way, actually, because we've got to keep left. There is a little bit of a shop there for uh, halfway through the dinosaur walkthrough, which is just for uh, dinosaur merch. So you can go in there and get your dinosaur merch in there. And there's all sorts of pin badges, plushies, and uh, stuff associated with that in there. And um, here we've got uh, the little baby triceratops for another photo opportunity. And of course, there's a big dino dig here, so you can find your own fossils uh, using the brushes and stuff provided there. And here, oh, we've got found some more fossils here. So that is the f a fossil. So is that a triceratops horn, is it? Yeah. Ah. So that is 65 to 70 million years old. And that is the sound of the animatronic T Rex springing to life over there. That sounds scary, that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and see him. So we're making our way around to towards the biggest of the dinosaurs there. You've got to really bend back to get that one in. And that one is a Pachylephosaurus, I think that. Pachylephosaurus, do you reckon that's right? Should we go with that? Yeah. Sounds right. <clears throat> and of course, here is the Triceratops Rex, the most fearsome and well known of. Did I say Triceratops Rex? I don't know what's up with me. I have no idea why I just said that. So here he is, the most fearsome of all dinosaurs, the most well known, the Trice type. I, I can't even say it. What is it? What, they're all laughing. Uh, no, no, go on. What is it? <laughs> it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. We'll call it T-Rex. It is the T-Rex that is up there, and it is the most fearsome of all of the dinosaurs that's known. Um, not the biggest, of course, but it is the most fearsome, and we all know uh, from Jurassic Park how fearsome they actually are. Um, you can hear the rumbles in the distance as he's stamping his way uh, down towards us. I'm pretty sure pretty soon I'm pretty sure we're going to hear him roar as well uh, as we're underneath here. Uh, there is all sorts of other things that are down there so it's got a little bit of information about the T-Rex as well and the bite force in fact and in here there is a T-Rex tooth and what how big is it? It's a little bit um uh, you can't really see it because the uh, it's not in it's not in there oh it looks like this has to be taken out looking at that it's an empty spot so it sounds like it's going to start his, his tiny little arms are. Um, it's on the bottom. Of oh, is it on the bottom? Oh, it's like it's falling off. It's at the bottom. So that's a bit of a shame there. Need, that should do with picking up, really. And um, hopefully he's going to give his little roar shortly. If not, we'll have to uh, just carry on moving and uh, uh, hear his roar from wherever we are in the uh, dino walkthrough. <laughs> and down here we've got with these, these must be like little baby ones, or are they raptors? Tyrant King. Tyrant King. So it is. Tyrant Yeah. Tyrant Rex. Just see him up there, weighing everybody up, waiting for his moment to pounce. I have to say, you know, that animatronic there, I actually think that's better than the uh, Jurassic Park animatronic at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks in good condition, well maintained, and it's all moving really, really well. I see that. We'll work our way around. <laughs> we can't wait around here all day for the uh, roar to come. So we've got to go underneath this, uh, I'm not sure if it's a pterodon or pterodactyl or some kind of flying creature that's down here. And uh, just weighing up all these. Huge. You can see that one there, he's having a chew on the branches there. Really, really well to put together. All in the ages of where they are and uh, and the, 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 you really do get the scale of how massive they actually are. Absolutely huge. Tips looking back on T-Rex there, having a, uh, uh, a look at everybody. He's having a nest up there, settling down. You enjoying this, dude? Yeah. It's good fun, isn't it? Yeah. I really enjoy this. I like seeing all this. And of course, it's just a bit of a mystery, really, seeing all this stuff about creatures that, that don't exist anymore or have evolved beyond, way beyond what uh, they look like now. I can't even get my words out. See that one covered in all spines there. And there's an egg there. I don't know if that one's left over from Easter, or whether, oh, you can just see him, he's, he's having his roar now. There he is. Uh, and this one, this is a Spinosaurus there. Spinosaurus, Spinosaurus. 
There's no E. He's not a moving one. And that's the uh, the dino walk. That's really good, isn't it? It's is really good. Yeah, and all included in the admission as well. So that's that's nice, isn't it? The, this I know it's weird because it's weird things having an actual animal oh, attraction, isn't it? Loads of them zoos. Have yeah, them. I know Westmid. Not Westmid. We're in Westmid. The uh, West Yorks yeah. had one, didn't they? So. Uh, Straight Manor have one. Now. Yeah, do they? So that's interesting. Well, that's no surprises, of course. Straight Manor is owned by the same people that own uh, Westmid Safari Zoo, so it's it's not really a great surprise in that respect. So we're going to head around now, there's a little bit of a red panda shop up there and uh, uh, that must, I'm guessing that's where the red pandas are as well and we're going to head down towards uh, the reptiles which are just down this way and there's a VR river raft ride, that's a, an upcharge, £4 per person so we won't be going on that. So they do have talks and shows here, so there's a reptile show and the ones here are at 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock today and they're, look, they're here, uh, you can't really miss this place because it's one straight road all the way through and uh, yeah, and that's where the, the shows take place. We're walking down here, which is the side of there now, to Reptile World, uh, to see what those creatures actually are in here, because it isn't actually time for a show yet, so uh, we'll just go and see them behind some glass instead. So Robin, Robin doesn't like the reptiles, so in here, as you can see, there is a little bit of a snake there. It's, uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what sort of snake it is. It's a glass lizard. It says it's a glass lizard, but there's... I can't see any legs on it. It does, does look distinctly like a snake to me, but... There we go, the sign does indeed say it's a, a, grass, a glass lizard. So there we go. As we walk down here, what have we got in this one? Oh, so there's like, some, like, some kind of iguana or lizard in that one. What's it say in that one? So in here, there is a snake, definitely is a snake. You can see him just moving around there, lifting his, coiling his head up. There he is. And, uh, He's coiling himself round. Can you see him there? He's, and that's the back of his tail, just down there. Um, and he's just uh, going to sleep, I think, down in the back end. So here, there is a boa. I think it is. Is it a giant boa, is it? Oh, it's down uh, there. Dad, it's down there. It's a common boa, as it says up there. Oh, it's down there. Um, these are, yeah, I can see him down there, Casper. These are really, really common in, uh, in Florida now. Yeah. What well, I happened mean, is quite a lot of people had them and uh, they flushed them down toilets and all sorts of stuff. So these are wild in Florida now, aren't they? Because um, it has no like, natural predators or anything like that, and they're eating all of the uh, smaller creatures. That is the uh, common boa. It's there. So walking down to this side, you can see we've got some chameleons in here somewhere. Probably won't be able to see them because they'll be blending into the background. Oh, there he is. He's just on the branch there. Oh yeah. The little chameleon. Just make him out. Well it's not, he's not changed colour into the... He, well he kind, of, he kind of has a little bit, but not fully has he, he's not gone fully brown. So here is another common boa, which is here. There he is. Yeah, he's here isn't he? You can see his head just draped over the um, branch there. He's having a bit of a chill out. Oh, yeah. He's probably had a big, a big dinner. Oh, it's, it's just over that branch, just there. That's it. Over the other side. Just keeping himself to himself. I've never seen a snake hiss. You've not seen one hiss? I don't think you want to. You don't want to see him hiss. So, speaking of big snakes, look at the size of this snake here. So you can see he's down there. And he is moving around. You can see just his head there. It's the first time I've ever seen so there he is. He's having a good old check out of his surroundings, but he is absolutely massive. Look how wide he is. He looks like he's had a few good dinners. And there he is. So that is that looks like another boa, in all honesty. It doesn't actually say on there, but I think it is. So uh Whoa, Yeah, that's it quite him. See Robin's actually uh, run away now. There's another one there as well. Um yeah. Robin really does not like snakes, so she's had to come around the other side because uh, she was getting disturbed by... Look how you can see her. <laughs> she's off. She's off. Um, yeah, so that... <laughs> not a fan of snakes at all. But he was a big boy. He certainly was. He was massive. Yeah, he was. I don't move. You don't, again, you don't often see them moving around, do you? They're normally very static. So... <laughs> Well, that's the uh, reptile enclosure. We're out of there now. There we go. We're over by the red pandas now. Uh, just come out. He's on his roof over there. Zoom in. 
So you can see them having a little bit of a, uh, a play about there as the, uh, the zookeepers clean out their enclosure, which is always nice to see them keep it nice and clean for them. And it's a decent size enclosure. I'd say that normally they get quite a small enclosure, the red pandas, but this looks like quite a big one for them. It's just, uh, they've got all from that side there, that little bit of a wall there, all the way over to that wall there. And, and of course, they've got all sorts of climbing stuff as well. Uh, so that's good to see. They seem to have quite a lot. And, and imagine if you're in those offices or whatever those buildings are there, you get a really nice view of the red pandas, which is good to see, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, um, that's the red pandas. So we're at Dino Dino here, really, really well themed on the outside. Looks like something that you'd actually see in Animal Kingdom, this. So let's have a look at the uh, the menu, which is here. You get pizza, which is priced at around about 15, between 14 and 16 pounds, 50 uh, for a pizza. And they have pasta, which is available at eight pounds as well. You all right, Eden? You want to go in? Yeah. We're going to go and have a look in there. Uh, and there's uh, loaded pastas, which is between eight pound and nine pound 50 as well. And all sorts of meal combos, family combos, which are 43 pounds as well. Or pizza for two for 22 pounds. So there's all sorts of things. I'll just scan down and feel free to freeze this uh, at any point so you can see how much everything is on the menu here at Dino Diner, which looks really, really well themed. So I'm just going to turn around. We're going to have a bit of a wander around in here. We're not going to eat in here because I think we're going to have something else, actually. There is a free cast machine as well, which is uh, nice to see, which is located just outside. And uh, here is the uh, Dino Diner. So uh, let's have a bit of a wander around in here and see what it looks like. You can see there's all sorts of uh, theming on tusks in here, it's just really, really good to see. And there we go. And that is the Dino Diner. It's really, really well themed in here. It looks really nice. The theming's really, really good. And it just looks like something you see in Animal King. It really, really does. And uh, even down to the floor. Well, I do like the floor in here, because one of the things that, uh, that it's normally let down with the theme in UK theme parks is they just put either bog standard tarmac in, like they've got here, but a lot of the places they are actually um, themed the actual um, walkways like they did outside uh, Dino Dino, which is nice to see. Even down to the little signposts here, which are nicely themed as well, and really in keeping with the areas that they're advertising. So let's come over here, so there's Marmoset Mischief, which is over here, which is going to be the little enclosure that's got all the tiny little monkeys in it. So uh, yeah, we'll see if they're, they're playing out at the moment. So you can see those little Marmosets, which are the tiny little monkeys that are just on the... Uh, Little beam there. Just zoom in. So I entered the African Village walking trail up here. I don't remember this being here last time, so this might be quite new. But um, I don't really know what's going to be in here. Have you, was this here last time? Well, oh, I don't remember this being here either. So um, it looks all quite new. I mean, in terms of the walkways, looking up there and the signage and everything. Um, so I'm guessing there's going to be all sorts of uh, maybe little animals and stuff that are uh, located up here, but. Yeah, once we come, so we'll, uh, we'll see what we've got up here at the African Walking Trail. Looks like this is all very much under construction. I'm not sure what it is that's going to be coming here. But it looks nice that they're investing. And it uh, well, looks like they're making a new home there for whatever that creature is, which is good to see. Yeah, further down so here. And they're uh, working on all the fencing. You can see the workers down there. Uh, still hard at work as they're putting all the fencing up and uh, all the enclosures for these uh, new creatures that are going to be coming here. So we're kind of the walking trail, you can see we're at the back of these lodges now. And you get to see the scale of these, they are really, really big. Big, big properties, um, which they should be really, considering the price. But yeah, they, they look really, really good and it's a good investment in fairness. And it's good to see them uh, branching out into hospitality and stuff that, uh, for this park as well. And it's really, really good. So now we're on the other side, you can see where these cars are coming past now. They're uh, where we were earlier on. and. Uh, that's all of the giraffes that are busy having their dinners and uh, showing a bit of a chill out. And that one looks like he's about to walk his way across the, the road there as well. Oh, we've got a bit of a traffic jam going on here. Oh, there's traffic jam. Traffic jam going on. Oh, he's trying to eat the uh, aerial of that car there. Oh, it wasn't it? It was the camera. <laughs> I thought it was an aerial, it was actually uh, an Insta360 camera. With that one his legs all spread so he can have a munch on the grass down below. So there are those safari 
buses as well. So if you're not interested, or if you can't drive, or you don't have a vehicle, or you just don't want your own vehicle getting brought through, you can go on those safari buses for a little bit of an upcharge. I think it's about five, six pounds, um, and you can come through and you'll be driven through yourself. So even if you're driving, you'll be able to get all the pictures and uh, filming that you want on there as well, which is which is always nice to see. Uh, I'm not sure how it works with the, the feeding and all that sort of stuff, because it doesn't look, it looks like there's only one slot for a window. Uh, but uh, in terms of coming out and actually viewing, you see that one there, uh, coming for a bit of a nosy along the side. Um, it's probably the same one that were perpetrated that was uh, nearly penetrated what? our car before. <laughs> but you say it's looking really busy now with all these cars that are here, but this is always a bit of a, uh, a bottleneck anyway, just by virtue of the fact that people want to stop and have a look at the giraffes. That's why you need to get here at half nine in the morning. That's you right. You come to do like the early one. <clears throat> There's exactly. Nobody in front of you, I and mean, you can just go at and your own leisure. Exactly, it was nice, wasn't it? It was nice so when it was doing it. It is worth getting up early for this one. Definitely, yeah. That's a bit of advice, as we'd say. Get here early and get that first one done, and then that's done, and we you can enjoy the day, and then you can come and enjoy the amusement rides after on after uh, lunch. Yeah, so you do get. Uh, a drive for the second time they give you a voucher which during the weekdays is between 12 and 4 I think it is but for today as it's a weekend it's obviously going to be a lot busier so it's between uh, half 2 and 4 o'clock you're allowed to go for your second drive they give you a bit of a voucher uh, you present that uh, at the entrance and then they'll let you go through again for a second time which is good but there is no time limit on it. It's, how long did it take us to go through that first uh, it's drive? about an hour and 15 minutes, but we were the first people. They do say it's about an hour and a half to two, to two hours, yeah. like normally, but because we were the first cars in, a little we bit weren't quicker. getting held up by the video. And that's, and that's exactly it, isn't it? And that's exactly all, all these giraffes are crowded around this car here. I'm guessing they've got some food or something there. So it's made our way into the actual amusement area of the park. And uh, first met by Kong, the Zamperla Disco, uh, which is a, it's got a 1.2 height limit, so it's quite small as well. So that means that kids can go on it. And I'm not sure, Casper, do you want to go on the, the disco? Not today. It's not one with a hump. It is, it's only uh, uh, straight from the middle, so it's not the, uh, uh, the more intense of them. You see the little hippo uh, figures over there, it's really cute. But we're making our way around now because we're going to go on the uh, Wacky Worm first here, straight through the apple. Let's go check out the wacky worm. So we just had a go at the, uh, on the, uh, I forgot, I forgot the name for the, the wacky worm there. Eden, what do you think about the wacky worm? The roller coaster? That's what she thought of it. She loved it. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, then we went on the slide. I've said that wasn't the fastest of slides. It's quite tall, really moving about at the top, but um, you had to push yourself down, which isn't the best. We've just come down here to have a look at the hippos, which are down here. Um, 
This is great. Love seeing the hippos. Let's go check these out. I said, there's, there's something about hippos. They're absolutely huge creatures. Uh, a bit like um, the manatees, but with legs, really. And um, yeah, I, I quite like him. Something about hippos I quite like. I don't know what it is. I quite like them, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And that's the hippos. So heading down here, we're heading towards this little African area here because there is a lima wood and uh, meerkats and goat walk to uh, have a look at down here. So we'll go and check this out. That used to be a, a bodge adventure playground. It's now changed to an explorer's playground and looks much more fitting. It looks like a good one to uh, uh, have a look around as well. So in fact, are we going to go and have a look at that? Yes. Yeah. yeah <laughs> the explorer's play park. So it was bodge and it's now the explorer's. Not too much has changed, of course, other than the actual uh, theming of it. I do seem to remember the, the big grass mound that you can kind of see in the middle there. That was there previously. And uh, uh, there's also um, an, a, one of the explorers that you can have your picture taken with there that you can just see, which is uh, a nice little touch too. Hello, how are you doing? Are you all having Yay. an amazing time? Yes. Good, good, good. This is Eliza. She's a oh. junior explorer. Are you explorers as well? No. You're not? Well, you're a teacher. No. You must be. You've been exploring today. <laughs> what have you been doing then? Are, are you just lost? She's lost. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's worse places to be lost. Well, exactly, yeah. Yeah. You're having a good time, aren't you? Really? So, uh, what are your favourite animals? Um, lemurs. Lemurs. We like lemurs, don't we? Lemurs with the stripy tails. Like yes. this. The tails like this. Yeah. <laughs> what about giraffes? Have you seen giraffes? Yeah. But this is the secret symbol for giraffes, of course. <laughs> what else? What about the hippos? Have you seen the hippos? Were they awake or were they asleep? They were awake, weren't they? Really? They usually asleep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very lucky. Yeah. And have you yeah. been on safari today, yeah? Yes. It did, it didn't really we? good. You didn't open the windows when you went through the lines, did you? You didn't want to be lying lunch then. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so what are you going to do next? Are we going to go on some rides? Yeah. That's a good uh, idea, yeah. yeah. See, Eli Eliza keeps on saying to me she wants to go on the rides, but it's not ride day today. She has to do her work today. Oh, no! I know. Poor Eliza. I know. <laughs> she, she lives here, so she gets to go on the rides quite a lot. But just not today, Eliza. <laughs> No respect, don't you be cheeky. I said no respect. <laughs> oh, week, all right. Well, say thank you to Eliza. Thank you. All right, you have an yeah. amazing time. Hold on tight with those rides. Yeah. Oh, you say thank you. <laughs> Good girl. Bye. 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 <laughs> so we're in the Explorers Playground here. They just met Eliza there, uh, the, the cute junior explorer who's here all the time. And uh, now we're heading over to Lucas Playground. And uh, the kids are going to have a go on this little junior slide here. Really, really well maintained, I have to say. It looks really, really good. And how was that slide, Casper? It was really good. Yeah, and Eden's making her way up there, as you can just see. Eden. And she's going to have a little go on that slide too. Uh, it's really, really well equipped and the, all the equipment looks well maintained as well. And uh, Eden's coming down for her go on the slide now. There she goes. And Casper's having another go. And say there's, there's a seesaw, there's little rocking bikes, all sorts of obstacle stuff. There's a little uh, track to run around, a trampoline. There's all sorts of stuff and little tunnels here as well, which is nice. And Eliza's making her way around. And also Baby Chain, which is also useful in this area as well. And some somewhere to buy uh, a, a cup of coffee as well. But here comes uh, Eden and Casper as they have another go. They're fighting about who's going to go first. Eden's one, of course. She's the boss. There she is. Also, they found the little um, talky talky thing. I don't even know what the name of that is. But they're going to be talking to each other, which is quite cool. <laughs> Shouting down here, it's a little bit of a sensory garden. It's called Ellie's Band Camp, as you can see there. And there's uh, all sorts of stuff that you can uh, make a racket on, which is cool. And uh, these little chimes, which is nice. And... You show us how that works, Casper. Well, that sounds nice. That sounds very soothing. It's nice, though, isn't it? And over here, we've got some tom toms. This is quite cool. Nice 
nice little centric arms, little train there as well. Let's have a little city. Hey, Dad, I quite like how those little cameras are uh, hidden away in that um, post as well, in the lights. It looks quite good. So uh, they've gone over to the little running track and the uh, trampoline to have a little bounce around on there. Gonna burn off some energy. So let's go through the African village and meet the lemurs. And there's also a goat walk, which will, that'll please you. I like a goat. You like, you like a good goat. There's also an ancient African shop there. I say ancient, I don't think they're selling actual ancient stuff, but that's what it's called. And, uh, and there's some, oh, there's the meerkats. There they are. Just walking past them as they uh, have a bit of a mess about there. And uh, there's the entrance to the woods, which is just through that way. They obviously must come out of here. And uh, I quite like all the little, uh, uh, brushes that they've got to uh, scrub themselves and uh, give themselves a bit of a, a scratch when they're feeling a bit itchy. The yeah, little meerkats are out over there looking uh, very active. Can't take the so, so can't take the pram, so we'll have to leave it here. Little sign says push chairs here. Oh, yeah. so we have a Lima talk here at one o'clock and two oh, half past two. Time recording, we're actually on two o'clock, so we'll be getting set up for their talk. It's going to be uh, taking place in about half an hour's time. Nice little woodland walk through here. Can't see where the lemurs actually are. They might actually be inside. Eden wants to go on the elephant ride, don't you? And uh, we'll go on that next as soon as we've got walked through here. So a large group of lemurs is called a troop. Interesting facts for you there. It's a nice little walk through, some ducks there. Can't see any pirate ship just having a go around there. Nice little amusement park really here as well. So I've turned up at the, uh, the lion enclosure now. What's it called? Lion Ridge. Lion Ridge. There we are. Looks really nice. Looks really, really well maintained here. Looks, this looks quite new as well. And that they're all lying down up there. All these are tied out from uh, earlier on. <laughs> oh, and we're down at the meerkats now. And here he is. Eden really enjoys seeing the meerkats. It's a nice little enclosure that they've got here as well. Digging holes, passing the time. And this one's up on top of the, uh, the pillar there, looking out for any dangers. Aww. So cute, aren't they? They <laughs> are really cute. You can see them really clear. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice little enclosure that they have, isn't it? Oh, no, he's digging a hole. That's what we like to do. <laughs> So it's going to go on the uh, Rhino roller coaster there. You can see uh, Venom Drop Tower there. Despite its height, it's actually going to be pretty intense, that uh, uh, drop tower there. So we're going to make our way around. So this is uh, the old school family coaster, uh, the Rhino roller coasters, as it's called back there. So uh, yeah, let's go check this out. So it just came off uh, Rhino Rampage roller coaster there. And Eden. Did you like that, Eden? Yeah! Yeah, I mean, looking at that, you can see it's a big coaster, to be fair. It picks up some decent speed around those helixes, doesn't it? And uh, did she have her hands up? She didn't have her hands up, no, she was holding on. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really, really fun coaster, as you can see. I really like the uh, themed Rhino Zero car on it as well. It's really, really cool. So that is Rhino Roller Coaster. Maybe you can go on that again later if it's not too busy, or do you reckon? Yeah. And now is the, uh, uh, the Magic Mouse that's up here, so the uh, Monkey Mayhem, as it's called. So uh, yeah, we want to check that out if it's not too busy. So let's check out Monkey Mayhem. You weren't tall enough for this last time, dude. So now you're out there, it's Rhino roller coaster. Yeah, look, I like the little ears that they've got on the side of the, uh, the cartier, cars here. I think it's really, really cute. I know, it's really cute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll go and check this out because it looks really cute. Just outside uh, Monkey Mayhem here, the Magic Mouse. It's a really, really great, fun, crazy uh, spinning uh, uh, mouse there. I really like the addition of the ears on the side of the car. It looks really, really cute. Uh, so I've just come off with Casper. Robin's gone to go out and the bus. She's just queuing up down there. Does it look good, Eden? Yeah. Does it look like one you want to go on? Uh, what? Do you want to go on this one? Are you tall enough? No. No? Too much spinning, I think. Yeah, it's a good fun ride, this. So uh, just wait for them to come off the walk on. So there you can see there's nobody waiting down the bottom end there at all. So um, yeah, it's really, really good. Here they go, 
Casper and Robin are on this one now. To go at the start. There's no spinning, of course, on this top bit. Uh, it's almost lower levels there. And it starts the spinning. But... I really like those little ears there on the side. It's really cute. the spinning. So we're going to go and check out um, the best dart ride in the world. Now. So in terms of theming and the effort they've made down here, it's really, really good. Even the uh, little log flume that they've got, uh, look at that there. That looks really, really good. Oh, they've calmed out the Zambezi timber mill out there and they've put the effort to put that on the, uh, the gate there. And uh, they've got all those logs piled up here. It looks really, really, it really does look the part. And essentially, it's just your bog standard fairground log flume, but the effort they've made for the the theming around that is really, really good. I like all these little props here. They don't need to be here, but they need to really add to it, and it's really, really nice to see as well. And uh, yeah, and we think we're going to head to, towards doing some of these uh, kiddies flat rides next, and then uh, uh, we'll do that Dr. Umboto's Catacombs. So now the time's come to go on Dr. Umboto's Catacombs. Now this, well, yeah, I'm not going to say much about it. I'm just going to try and film one and see what, how much we can get from it, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Let's talk to Umboto. Frankenstein. There he is. So just come off Dr. Umboto's catacombs there. Um, probably the, the Poundland um, ghost train. What did you think about it? I was going it again. He wants to go on again. She really liked it. <laughs> but she has a hand over eyes when she goes on kiss as well. She really likes that. Um, but what did you think? To be fair, from what you'd said, I was expecting it to be like a fairground ghost train, and it was it was a bit better, but it just doesn't have any audio. No, it. to be fair, it's not that bad. But I think it would benefit from getting some audio in there, build a bit of tension, because uh, and and maybe have something that actually pop out, maybe create a bit of a scare. But the actual going round, I think it's all right. It's all right. Um, yes, I talked to Umboto. It's not. It's not the worst by any stretch, but it's not cursed as well. So um, yeah, we're gonna go and check out some more kids' flat rides now. made with the theming in regards to this restaurant. It looks really, really nice in there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a shame we're not actually going to go and eat in there because that looks really like a place I'd really want to try out. 
and uh, there's wild, rafty, wild river rafting that was closed last time we came and uh, it's making way now for jungle jeeps which is opening in the summer of this year so uh, it's not there at the moment it's still a sign for wild river rafting but uh, yeah it's jungle jeeps will be there soon So, <laughs> excuse my ear, he just has been doing it there. Um, Robbie's just come off Venom, the uh, drop tower, you can just make out, I don't know if you can see it, there it is, all the way up there. So, uh, how was it? Yeah, enjoy that. Quite intense. And I'll let you go and then we pull the tins at the floor. It's not got a very tight aim. Like chest so you end up right out your seat, plenty of air time. So we, we've come out of there and we've come to something, something a bit more different now. So we're going to go on a rhino roller coaster again. So uh, and then we'll be wrapping up the day the rhino roller coaster. So there you can see it's freeze the prices there for you can pay per ride here. Um, or you can buy a wristband for unlimited rides. And most of the rides do require two tickets. So it's worth noting, it'll be four pound a ride, roughly. So it probably works out better to get the unlimited ride wristbands. So that's the end of our day here at West Midland Safari Park. And I just want to say again, thank you very much to West Midland Safari Park for providing us with administration, administration, admission, <laughs> admission, and also for the unlimited ride wristbands that we've got oh, here as well. Been like that which, all day. I, I just can't even get my words out. I don't know what's up with me. Um, yeah, and I, have to, I think we've had a really good day. We've had a couple, good couple of hours going around the, the safari, and uh, I thought that was good as well. Yeah, it's I, I personally good. think it's the best safari. It is, um, but, you, but you do have to get here early, like yeah. Because otherwise, it just take it'll take a really long time oh, to get yeah. around. Oh yeah, it? absolutely. Uh, and as far as the the, um, uh, the walk around bit goes, there's loads that we still haven't done. We didn't see any of the talks. We didn't see the sea lion show. No. Um, we just didn't have enough time. But uh, so maybe you could actually come for a second day and just do that stuff, I suppose, and just really take your time with it mm. uh, and and do that. But um, in terms of the, the rides, I think that the, the, the what they've done is the bits that they've got, they've themed quite nice, haven't they? Yeah, they have, and it's really good because it's all family rides, isn't it, for small kids? Like, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. Not, like, if you're coming here as a couple, like, there's not that much for No, no, adults, probably not. is there really? No. But, but yeah, it's a family park, it's brilliant. Absolutely, yeah, that's it. So, Casper, what's been your favourite thing? Um, seeing the tiger. The tiger? And my favourite ride was um, the... Monkey Mayhem. Monkey Mayhem. <laughs> Excellent. Eden, what's been your favourite thing? Um, caterpillar. Was oh. it? Not the rhino one? Yeah. The rhino coaster was your favourite? So that's of course got a one metre height restriction, so uh, that <laughs> meant that Eden could go on and she really loved it. It was quite high as well, really, and it ah, got to build a, quite a bit of speed. Mm. Robin, what was your favourite? Um, I like the drop tower actually. The drop tower? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I thought it was really good. I know I like the log flume because it's a big box and log flume. Like, it's pretty much the same um, layout as the one that's at Southport, but it's just mm. how they've done a good, made a good effort with it, haven't they, with the yeah, theming? Nicely, so, nicely painted since last time we came. Yeah, absolutely. I think the whole park, the whole area is presented really, really nice and looks really good and really fresh. And uh, yeah, I think it, it's a good day out for anyone, isn't it? So that, that's it from us. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, the only thing I've got left, I've, I've lost my way. I can't even talk. I don't know what he's up with me whatsoever. Uh, we'll just stop it there. <laughs> Let the positivity in and... Ride it out. Bye. Bye.